Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield will be back to front the latest series of Dancing on Ice on Sunday night. Christopher Dean, Jane Torval, O.T. Mabuse and Ashley Banjo will also be returning to the judging panel to share their advice and give criticism about the celebrities' performances. Ahead of the first episode, the bookmakers have been sharing their predictions about who could be booted from the competition first. They also gave the latest odds on who could win the 2023 skating contest. However, it is not looking good for former EastEnders star Patsy Palmer and John Fashionu, who have been tipped as the favourites to leave the show first. John has odds of 25 over 1 of being given the boot, while Patsy has odds of 20 over 1. Although, Niall Wilson has been tipped as the favourite to win the competition, even before his first performance. The bookies have the former GB gymnast as the front-runner to be crowned as this year's champion with odds of 10 thirds. However hot on his heels is 2022 Love Island winner Ikan Su Kulkulalu with odds of 7 halves. Joey Essex is rated at 4 over 1 with Molly Gallagher and Shiva Kanaswaran sharing odds of 8 over 1 apiece. Jessica O'Reilly of Ladbrokes said, Niall's background clearly gives him a head start over his fellow celebrities, but punters are rallying behind Ikan Su and Joey, making it a three-horse race for dancing on ice glory. On Sunday night, the celebrities will take to the ice for the first time in a bid to impress the judges. The star-studded lineup have spent the last couple of months rehearsing for their first performance. Although, it is safe to say they have suffered a few minor injuries and scrapes along the way. Speaking to Holly and Philip on this morning about why she turned down doing the show before, Patsy admitted, it was terrifying. Is there any point going on a show and potentially getting injured? What is the difference now? Philip asked as the former soap star replied, I'm 50 years old. It's a job, isn't it? Going to work and it's important that we all do that. But I don't want to get into that boring bit because that is obvious, she added. We were talking about that just now in the dressing room and it's like, I get to do this for a job. And I am 50 now, I had a huge 50th birthday bash in LA where I DJD and it was all sparkly. And so I was like, I need to keep this sparkly going.